just don't want to see her, okay? You don't want to meet her? I was 11. You were 11 years old? Yes, and I really don't feel like getting into this because we've already talked about it. That whole 11 years old bit could have been mentioned when we talked about it all for five minutes, Darren. Yeah, well, you know, if it's in the past, it's in the trash. Darren. Look, could you please just give me if a If you fucking... knew any of this for certain, would you even be here right now? You won't know the truth until you talk to her. What else are you so sure about? I called the agency. We called the agency. We called her on the phone. I called her on the phone. You didn't want to speak to her. Nope, I didn't, and I still don't. Seriously? After calling the agency? After I called the agency and sent her your information? We went through background checks on both her and us. After I've spent months holding your hands through this, and now we are literally sitting in her driveway. I'm not going to bring a child into this world if you're going to act like one too. You're going to do this. Now. You sound like my fourth foster mother. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Oh, that's an insult. A real piece of shit. Told my sister we would text her when we're on our way, so feel free It'll to be take quick. your time in there. Would you like to come in? Sure. Here you are. Cream or sugar? Black's fine. So you really are my son. I'm sorry. I just... It's fine. Sorry the house is such a mess. The mailbox, the yard. The agency sent over some papers. But I wanted to hear from you. You didn't read the documents that the agency gave you. Okay. Nice flowers outside. I'd been meaning to do something about that. Mm. Got married seven years after you. Steve and I didn't last though. We were divorced a couple of years ago. The kids are all up and out. They don't need me anymore. There's a club for me for that. Just wanted to hear about you from you. You want to hear about me? You want to know what's in those papers? Okay. Uh, well, let me inform you on a few things that you may not know. Um, you wouldn't know that I slept in over 14 foster homes until I was adopted at the age of 11. 11. Families, institutions, homes, you name it. Uh, you wouldn't know that I went to 13 different schools. In each class, there were 20 other kids. I got to go home to their parents every night while I got to go home to complete strangers. Um, let's see, you wouldn't know that the people that did end up adopting me came all the way from New York to get me while you thoughtlessly threw me away in a trash can and for years never really cared to see how I was doing. And you wouldn't know that in class, I never wrote down my last name on any of my papers because I didn't know what it was. So please, spare me and don't you dare tell me that I'm your son. I just wanted to know how you turned out. Well, for what it's worth, I didn't. I'd like to think that your father would be proud of you. Well, you fucking thought wrong. I'm sorry that I worked three jobs, working morning, noon, and night, trying to save enough for before you were born. But it just wasn't enough. Not in a town like this. If I were to keep you, 
I wanted to be able to create a world where you wouldn't get hurt, where you wouldn't want for anything. I just wanted to be able to protect you and keep you from harm, give you the world. There's nothing I wouldn't have done to be able to keep you. Yeah, well, nothing's what you did. Hello. Don't do that, because we need to get ahead of Morgan if we can. All right, good. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye. What? Where are we going? Hi. 